all of those raggedy looking ends are gone so yeah uh maybe six months to a year so my ends are looking kind of weird right now i don't know if you guys can tell i have really like you know skinny ends and hey guys it's your girl vanessa here welcome back to another video if this is your first time on this channel you are very welcome before we dive into today's video i want to take a few minutes just to acknowledge you guys and acknowledge my new subscribers so thank you so much i see you we are going every single day and i really really appreciate you know the support i appreciate the love um yeah I, my heart is full guys it's full you know like if you've been doing youtube or even if you haven't been doing doing youtube it's quite hard you know to get subscribers to actually get people watching your videos liking it and subscribing so it really means a lot when someone actually takes the time to watch what you do and like it and then subscribe so i'm so grateful guys thank you so much it really means a lot so yeah we are going every single single day i see the numbers creeping up and yeah it really encourages me it really motivates me to keep going and yeah i'm just so grateful i am so grateful and to all of you guys who were already subscribed to the channel you know i'm so grateful still so yeah you know basically how it rolls and yeah i really appreciate all of you guys i really appreciate you keep watching keep liking keep sharing keep subscribing and uh, yeah we can grow this little family so let's get into today's video guys my hair is like this because i'm gonna trim it i'm gonna show you guys how i trim my natural hair um it's been quite a while since i trimmed it i think it has been about uh maybe six months to a year so my ends are looking kind of weird right now i don't know if you guys can tell i have really like you know skinny ends and that's not good that usually tells me that you know that's damaged so i need to get rid of it so we're going to be doing that today i have gone to the store i was looking for like a hair cutting set and basically i couldn't find any except for this one it, it costed me only one pound 49 so one pound 50 so it has a pair of scissors inside some clips and um and, and comb so uh yeah that's what we're going to be using guys and also my wide tooth comb just to detangle so we're going to work in small sections i usually start my hair from the front guys um i don't know it's something that i've done for such a long time it just became a habit you know so we're going to start from the front and i'm gonna divide this section into two just so that it's easier to detangle and um yeah and, and just work with pretty much so it doesn't have to be like perfect your sections um so yeah pretty much so we're gonna spray it with just a little bit of water here you don't want your hair too wet but you want it damp just so that it's easier to detangle and uh yeah and, e and easier to cut through as well so yeah just hydrate a little bit and then you want to detangle it so come through i usually will start going being through the roots like not the roots sorry the ends and then work my way towards the roots okay but because this section was already pretty much detangled i'm going to um yeah i'm going to basically just do it from the roots so detangle the wide tooth comb first and then we're going to take the other comb and use the wider part and then we're just going to comb through you want to do this really gently okay so you don't cause your hair to break um so yeah this is just like to get them or to get your strands to be properly stretched out okay guys so like this so then once you do that guys you then want to pass your comb through you know you need to basically like slide it through okay now we get to a point where you will start to get resistance so that's the point that you need to cut okay. So make sure your hair is properly detangled to do this so you don't cut away the good hair so i'll do that again so just pass your comb through and then the part where it starts to get stuck you then place your finger like in a scissors way like that behind it and that's it you have the part where you need to cut so this is basically what i need to cut away i don't know if you can see it properly the lighting so that's pretty much it 
and now I'm going to use my scissors and cut through basically okay guys so I'm gonna I cut about this much from this section right at the end so you just want to you know do that for the your whole head so make sure that you properly detangle it I'm just going in again with this comb so now if you were to do that again let's see if we get any resistance okay so you can see how the comb is just sliding through so we're just gonna go ahead now and twist this section guys so look at the end now how they look so much better don't know if you guys can tell compared to let's say this one you see that the big difference guys just be sure to comb it through very well because not all resistance is damaged hair okay so if you are not fully detangling then you might cut your own hair like the, the good hair thinking that is the damaged hair because you're getting resistance so make sure that is nice and detangled all the way through that way you're sure that you're cutting the part that needs to be cut so I'm just taking my time here to detangle, you know, be patient when you're doing this. As you can see here, I'm really combing it through, you know, really making sure it's nice and detangled all the way through. So then when you get to the ends, detangle that end really well as well. And then go back again with the comb where you get resistance like here. I'm pushing, but it's not moving. So I know I need to cut here. So that's basically how much I need to take away this bit. So that's that. <sighs> So again, you know, try and detangle. Just want to get rid of all of that damaged hair. Not damaged, but like split ends. So make sure that you comb the rest through until it's nice and smooth. You can see that's just falling out. So that tells us it's good. We're good to go. Now let's twist this part and then we can move on to the next. ends just curl on themselves so that's good hair compared to like this one for example so we're just gonna do that for the whole of it I'm going to speed it up now just so that you know it doesn't take too long you already know what to do so I'm just gonna speed it all up
guys so i'm done this is basically what it looks like um so those are the ends yeah this side is smaller than this side but hey it's okay um but at least it does look perfectly clean so yeah all of those raggedy looking ends are gone so yeah that's good so this is it guys thanks for watching bye